yes guys welcome again at this time uh, it is me here andrew uh, we are here with the reverend uh, here at amani uh, village uh, as we've had the all progress we had the issuing of some uh, uh, things uh, but we still need to you know this is a life and uh, there are a lot that might be going on without us knowing so we want to get to have a chat with the reverend and uh, also being the director that is running this place uh, we want to have a chat so that we can hear from him reverend you can uh, introduce yourself again to these people yeah my name is reverend wachianga kenneth uh -huh. i'm uh, the director of uh, Amani Village of Hope mm. and uh, as the director of this institution mm. I've been doing this work for the last 19 years I've been working in the church, church as an Anglican priest mm. but uh, 10 years ago I had to call it quits from the pulpit so that I could and dedicate my life to these children this is uh, the Lord's calling mm. and I really enjoy my work because when I see God keeps on using me to change lives, I feel so happy. So Amani, uh, God initiated reason being, we have children who are in need and uh, Amani takes care of children who are orphans, we take care of abandoned babies take care of children who have been infected with HIV and AIDS. We also take care of children, especially girls who have been abused. And uh, in this institution, we have seen so many children passing through this place. And uh, some are in university, some are already working, and uh, there is uh, a big number who are working in a way that some are doctors, some are nurses, mm. some are also teachers, and some are now hustling so that they can also get their daily bread mm. on a day to daily basis. Okay, if I would cut you short, you said something like um, uh, you had to, to quit uh, the pulpit work to get much dedicated to this. Like, if I would ask, um, for the past, for the other nine years, when, he, like you said, it started 19 years ago. So when, uh, during the, within the nine years, that means that you are both, you are having a, a, a double responsibility in the pulpit and also here, but you are still running it smoothly. Yeah. Actually, I was uh, running it smoothly, but it was uh, not easy for me mm. because one, I had to go to the parish first thing in the morning, mm. and in this place, I would come to this place at around three yeah. just to see on how the children are and with the staff. Uh -huh. But when I came to realize that it was not easy, uh -huh. the reason being that uh, if you are in an initiator of such a project, yeah, yeah. you have to make sure that you are always on the ground yeah. just to get to understand the basic needs of the children. Mm also requirements from the school mm. and also to see that all is well for them same to the staff yeah that, that is that is a really good leadership quality you 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 be to the ground you said something like being in the ground yeah. you say we go don't you don't say go you say let us go yes that is a nice one and uh, you said something like to do with also the staffs like how many staffs do you have here and at the moment, I have a, a number of nine members of staff mm. who are working here in this compound. Okay. Yeah. And I am keeping, uh, at the moment as we speak, I have 113 children in this compound. 110? 110. 113. 113. Yes, and out of 113, mm. I have 66 who are in boarding schools. Okay. Yeah, that is high school. Then I have a team of 15 who are in university. Okay. Um, I think we met one that was in college, isn't it? Yes, that is David. David is one of the first children to be rescued in this institution. Okay. Yeah. So at the moment, actually David came here before even joining primary school. Oh. He was in uh, nursery. From nursery, he went to 
uh, sent order school for the blind mm. and then we took him to Thika High School for the blind. Okay. Yeah. Another 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 question that is coming here like fine you're now okay these are, are, are I can say that it can be for I can use another part or another term like it being a refuge for the children. So okay how do you manage to for example raise uh, the, 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 the funds the to funds that educate you raise them. from this institution is that it is just coming from friends. Uh -huh. uh, you see these people, or other friends of ours, whom some of them are donors. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some who are there for us mm -hmm. and they could stand with us, but majority of them have already retired mm -hmm. from uh, priesthood. And some have even retired from their different areas of work. Yeah, yeah. So you find that at the moment they cannot manage. And then you find that, uh, especially when you keep on relying on these uh, donors, yeah. it makes the work to be very difficult. Uh -huh. So at the moment, as we speak, we only get support from friends. Uh -huh. Friends who are willing. Yeah. The reason is because the econo economy has affected people all over the yeah. country and it is something that is worldwide mm. and it has made the work to be very difficult. Mm. Yeah, so majority of our children in high school and college, they are being supported with uh, friends who are within the country. Mm. Same time, we only have uh, a few friends, like one or two, who are in abroad. Yeah. But majority of our support comes from friends within this country. That is good. And um, another thing, um, you said that there are some that are already from this place and they are now working. If if if, if I would uh, ask, do they still do? Do you see them coming or their hands maybe reaching now that not they are all? Off? Not all can do such a thing because uh -huh. uh, you know when it comes to a matter of supporting, yeah, uh, it is. Your heart, yeah, it's, heart. It's, it's a heart. Yeah, yeah it's it is heart. your heart. There yeah. are people who are born with different kinds of gifts. Yeah, and there have been we have people who are born with different kinds of gifts. Mm. Not all have that heart of supporting. Mm. Yeah, but we have a few who do support once in a while. Mm. And just as you have, I've told you, the 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 the. the if you look at the situation, especially now with the economy, it is yeah. something that has affected so many families. Yeah, it has paralyzed. Yeah, it uh, has paralyzed plan, everything. Yeah. So it is not uh, that easy for us to get that proper support. Okay. Yeah. And with your staffs, how do how do you, how do you handle them? Like that one has been a very very big challenge. Yeah. Uh, and that is why I say that when someone is doing something of the sort, mm. if you don't have a team of staff who also don't have that calling mm. or rather that team of spirit of working together it makes the work to be very difficult mm. yes they are also human beings they have their own basic needs some of them have families yeah but whatever we get however little it is they just take and appreciate okay that means that they're also like it is, it is it is not with they don't they don't have the mindset of salary thing they, they but they do it uh, from uh, with with a voluntary yeah. heart. Okay, that is that is a good one. Um, we we talked about uh, the children. Okay, you know, the, in life we have challenges. That is that is true. I have also challenges. You also being here, there is a lot of challenges. And uh, one you, I remember you mentioned was the mattress thing that at least had been uh, uh, a bit of it sorted, but majorly as the director here which one is the bigger challenge that you can uh, point out and say that okay though this has been this and this has been challenging to us but the challenges the in a money are many yeah and uh, if we want to mention all of them one by one yeah it might be very difficult mm. but i want to say that the challenges in a money is just too much mm. to an extent that uh, what we do say and do appeal to even our majority of our friends yeah. is that they should just keep on praying for us. Yeah. Reason is because uh, at times we can have challenge in the area of food, at times we can have the challenge in the area of beddings, yeah. we can have the challenge in the area of uh, staff, mm. uh, wages, we can also have the challenge in uh, the issues to do with the clothing. Yeah. 
and also school fees, school school fees. fees. Mm. all these are challenges that are in there are there in Amani and they are there to stay yeah the only challenge is that the work here is so stressful that if you don't have that bigger heart yeah. then you can find yourself that uh, giving you are not, up and yeah, giving up okay. but I do thank God because at times it is too difficult and painful but God has always been on our side yes. As th- that, that, that is really touching and it is also very difficult for you to find someone committed as you to take care of these children because I had when you people you were talking um, I remember you said something that by la- last year when uh, our other fellows came they, 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 they found what they thought you or something yeah, when they came here, they, they were around 32 to 38 children. And uh, today but that today we are here, we are speaking it's... again, the number has uh, increased, and we are talking of 130. That means that you, there is an increment of 100 from last year. 100 or something, yeah. approximately 100. That is, that is too much, and uh, let us just hope for the best, and uh, we keep praying yeah. that God help you guys and uh, help us and any other person that is willing to assist here yeah in amani our doors are always open yeah anyone who is willing to support can just pay a visit mm. what we need here is clothing because these children they have challenges with clothes they have challenges on the issue of fees mm. they have challenges on the issue of uh, beddings they also have challenges, especially on shoes, yeah. and we also have challenges when it comes to matters of medication, because here I am also taking care of children who have been infected with HIV and AIDS, okay. and they have to eat, they have to be, to be well taken care of medically, and uh, especially now that you have come, you realize that there is a lot of mosquitoes, yeah, yeah. I mean there is a lot of mosquitoes. It's now a, a, a breakdown of uh, malaria. Malaria is too much. So being malaria is too much, we don't even have that fund to buy uh, the malaria drugs. Mm. But uh, we keep on praying because uh, God has always been faithful to us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Reverend. Thank you. For your time, are we, we are praying for you. And we are hoping that uh, in due time, God will do his deeds. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aya, Sante.